gosh. So, has Barbie Is moved with the times? Is that supposed to deal with it? And in what way? Has she become a good role model for young girls and boys? Joining us now to debate this is author Laura Dodsworth, writer Flora Gill. Laura, Barbie, a feminist role model, really? No, really not. I, first of all, big caveat, I was a Cindy girl, mm -hmm. so I had all the Cindy dolls, but um, I can just about relate to Barbie. Look, the, what was fascinating, I was seeing the ad that old ad that you've pulled out the archives and how Cindy, uh, Barbie, mm. sorry, is now. And the thing is, Barbie is a doll. A doll can't be a role model. We project our fantasies onto dolls because they're our playthings. You know, they're the repository for our imagination. And that's why they change to reflect the times. You know, back in the 60s, Barbie had a diet book that said, don't eat. What? Um, yeah, truly, truly. And then in the 90s, I think they made her waist a bit bigger because if a real woman looked like Barbie, she would die. And then I think in the 2000s, they got rid of her thigh gap. And now we're, we're being told that, you know, she's challenging unrealistic beauty standards and she can do any job. And those are all good things. But she's just a blank canvas that we project onto. Also, don't forget, Barbie is a brand. She's a cultural artefact. She's an icon. She's a big business. Look at these units you have on the desk here. Mm. This is a huge multimedia franchise. So go and see the film. It'll be a lot of fun. Play with Barbies. They're fun. But she's not actually a role model. Flora, defend your Barbie. I will proudly. Are you dressed as a Barbie today? I have come a little bit Barbie core just for yes, you guys. With the bit with the pink. Exactly, yes. with the pink. Um, but I think she can absolutely be an icon, be an idol for, for girls, for women, for all of us. I think she has definitely progressed with the time and I'm not going to defend everything. But what feminist among us has always been perfect? Things develop, things evolve. And she has a new version of herself and she's great. Have you seen any of the film? Because that's the first time I've seen the trailer in full. And it seems to be poking fun yes. at Barbie's oh, yeah. sort of stereotyped gorgeousness. Yeah, they're very in on the joke, mm. I think. I think they're going to address a lot of the previous issues, a lot of the negativity and move forward with them. But I think that is the way Barbie has been going for a long time. I mean, Barbie has these vlogs on YouTube which are great about dealing with lots of issues like women apologising too much and all these different things. So I, th I think she definitely can be a role model. I'm not sure she needs to be little girls and women's only role model. I'm not saying we should tear down the posters of Malala and replace them with Barbie. But I think she can be one of them because children are in, uh, have have impressions from everywhere put on them and Barbie being a good one is important. Yeah. And I, I think I'm going to challenge this idea about, you know, how Barbie herself is challenging unrealistic body images. Mm. Let's be clear, you know, this isn't a film about a cabbage patch doll. You know, she is still extremely beautiful. She's played by Margot Robbie. But you, you know, can be all... beautiful and be you a feminist can. and be an icon. Abs Absolutely. Greta Gerwig, you... Margot Robbie, they're great feminists. I look up to both of them. You can, but Barbie is still the main character and the other characters are the sidekicks. Just Don't saying. dismiss Ken, hang on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think this film is supposed to be a lot more about Ken, which I think is quite interesting. You know, I've seen the trailer and um, watched an extra bit with Ken in, and I, I think that's probably where a lot of the drama and the interest is going to come from. Mm. Because in the Barbie world, of course, it's all about Barbie, and Ken is just a sidekick. I think he's, he's going to have his own story in this, which actually makes it, it, makes it more interesting. Definitely. Does it matter that dolls represent society diversity? Does it, or, or actually, do people just want to play with mm. pretty dolls? I, th I think we've got to be clear that this is about business. Mattel aren't doing this because she's genuinely a role model. They're trying to shift units. Now, Barbie sales went through the roof they in fit, lockdown. Do you think they shift more units of the non-blonde, non-skinny Barbie? Or do you oh, think I they're think just no. doing that as a virtue signal? I think it would be fascinating to know. I bet they're selling more of the, the skinny blonde mm. ones, but I, I don't know. Mm. The thing is, you know, she does reflect what we want to see in every decade. And right now, society is so mm. focused on diversity and inclusion that I think that they're reflecting that back to us in order to sell more. This is a business. Mm. But, but I also think we used to think that being a feminist and being a role model meant that you couldn't dress in all pink and, and wear high heels and care about your parents. I remember there was a point when I was in my early 20s and I really wanted to solidify myself as a proper feminist, I really did not want to wear anything pink. Whereas we've moved on from that. Feminists mm. come in all different shapes, sizes, dress, makeup. You can shave, you cannot shave. There is no one iteration, one version. All it matters is, is what you think and that you believe in equality. And I think feminine, I think Barbie and I think this movie specifically will do that. Flora, I mean, we, we asked this question in a Twitter poll. Mm. I think we can see the Twitter poll. 
Unfortunately, the Twitter poll is not on your side. A very clear majority of people do not think Barbie is a feminist icon. Could you just explain to our viewers why they're getting this wrong? Why, why are they thinking this? I, I can understand why they might not immediately think that, because there's almost feels like there has to be an issue role model compared to this person, compared to this real life character. Whereas actually, mm. there is no limited number of role models that a person can have. Barbie has had every job under the sun. She's had 200 jobs, a lot of them in male dominated fields. She was president before there was even a woman on the presidential ballot in America. Wow. I mean... Well, breaking news for you this morning, we have a mum in the studio who has got a report um, from their daughter on what kind of Barbie they wanted. Laura. So, yes, Charlotte's going to be five in just a few weeks' time, and I said to her, what do you want? And she said, I want Barbie. And I said, what do you want? And she said, pilot Barbie, Dr Barbie, vet Barbie and astronaut Barbie. So the Barbies she wants are the ones that are doing jobs that used to be seen as men jobs. She doesn't want the pretty ones, the swimming ones. So, yeah, she wants the ones that are can I breaking just, boundaries. Can I just ask, for research Love purposes, that. did you ask a, a leading question? No. Like, you don't want that blonde, tiny, wasted Barbie, do you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I let her have free reign and free answer. And so she wants those ones that are breaking boundaries. Mm. But isn't it interesting but we that's do... what she sees? Not, yeah. I want the Barbie that's got a tiny waist or, or the prettiest Barbie. She wants the Barbie that's she doing things, this one. that has a job Dr. and that Barbie. it's something to look up to. Yeah. Well, we do, yeah. we do want our role models to have an inner life. You know, we're talking about Barbie today. I don't think we'll be talking about Barbie in 100 years. We'll still be talking about Elizabeth Bennet in mm. Pride and Prejudice or Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. Mm. You know, what really makes a role model are the, are the inside virtues and not the exterior characteristics. Well, great to talk to you both this morning. Thanks and very much indeed. every Barbie needs a Ken. Oh. Yeah. Uh, some Barbies <laughs> can have other Barbies. We don't all need a Ken. Quite uh, right, oh, too. Good morning, Britain. Back oh, tomorrow from six. That's you told it. Now it's time to join Lorraine.